guys. I hope you're doing well today. This is my aloe plant. She's suffering, but I think she's coming back. <laughs> I started putting her by the window in bright, indirect sunlight, and I think that she will and survive and be better than she once was. But I wanted to show you her because I feel like my aloe plant sometimes and most plants are like myself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Franny, and uh, this is my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're here. And hey to my friends everywhere, all over the world. I'm glad that you're with me today. I just wanted to remind you guys that it's very important to take care of yourself. That's the moral of the story. Why don't we go ahead and do a style chat today? I'm thinking we can talk about Leanne Le Havis today. She's stunning, firstly. She's beautiful. And she has such a cool and interesting style. I love talking about David Kibbe's body typing system. I found it personally helpful in my style journey and um, have really settled on the flamboyant gamine essence. I kind of talk about my personal style through that lens. Let me go get my computer real quick. So Leanne Le Havas. Leanne Le Havas. Okay, so here I am. Got my notes here. I've got a few different outfits for you. One of the things that Kibby talks about that is so important is to train your eye to see the yin and yang extremes, where yin is more rounded, small, soft shapes, and yang is more structured, solid, long, heavy kind of shape. That's gonna really help you the most in your Kibby journey, more than me sitting here trying to tell you what your body type is, is if you can actually learn how to understand the system and train your eyes to see what Kibbe's even talking about when he speaks about yin and yang balance within your body and how you can pick your clothes in a way and pick outfits in a way that honors everything about you. And another thing is that this is just a conversation starter. This is a discussion that I'm wanting to start with you guys. And so I might see things that you don't see, you might see things that I don't see, and so it's really important to speak about these things with grace and with respect to everyone who's also learning about the system. So, Leanne Lahavas, first of all, is she flamboyant gamine? I personally don't think so, but she might be. I personally think that she leans a little bit more soft gamine, but she's still in the gamine family, I believe. But I think that after looking at her style and kind of seeing what outfits work the best on her, I feel like she's somewhere in the soft gamine part of the gamine spectrum, <laughs> if you will. So that just means that she has a mixture of extreme yin and extreme yang in her body and in her bone structure and everything, but she's a little bit more yin leaning. Now this can show up with curve placement or the way the flesh sits on top of the body. If they have just another level of um, softness to them, and this can show up in a lot of different ways for gamines, and so I think that we can learn a lot by looking at Leanne's style. So that's what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and look at some of these pictures. I think I have spoken enough. We're going to go through, I think, five different looks of hers. We're going to go ahead and start with this one. This is a dynamic look, you guys. Let's talk about what extremes we see here. Um, I'm going to start with her dress. It's very colorful. Now, I want you to notice something, that these colors aren't necessarily bright or loud. They're actually pastels. They're kind of muted um, and softened. But the way that they're placed all over the dress, I think that the pattern itself is what's so high contrast and so dynamic. And honestly, it's so harmonious with her. Like when I look at her, I immediately saw her face. I didn't even immediately see her outfit. Like when I first saw this picture, I just thought, whoa, she looks beautiful here. She has a high neckline and that's a yin extreme, I believe. And also the fittedness of the dress, the form fitted, um, 
nature of it is very yin as well. I feel like the yang elements in here have to do with like the length of it and the cups and all of those kind of structured details that are in it. Like the fabric seems pretty thick. Her sleeves, the the heavier metallic elements of the dress I think are more yang. But overall I think this is really cool. This is such a cool look. Look at her makeup. Her makeup is so strong. Her brows are strong and her eyeliner is very precise and thick. That is perfect for Gamines. And it's really focused on her eyes more than anything else. Her skin is pretty like matte or like, or I would say like a semi-matte situation. I don't know what they call that in makeup land. I feel like I'm talking about paint. <laughs> but there's like a little bit of luster in her makeup, but it's primarily matte. But her lips are like a neutral nude tone for her. And so I think that makeup look is really stunning. I might actually go for something like that pretty soon. Because <laughs> I just, I fell in love with this look. And then her hair! With the curls, with the length of it being shorter, some face framing pieces, I really feel like her hair and makeup really are the cherry on top for this look. And they really just amp up the community of it. <laughs> so I just think she looks really beautiful here. What do you think? What do you see? I think this is a great look for her. All right, outfit number two. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So this is actually a pretty monochrome look, but the line is actually broken. Gamines need a broken line because of the shift in the extremes that happen in their bodies. They need that to be mimicked in their clothing. And so in a look like this, where it's monochrome, you might think, oh, well, it's one long line. But in reality, if you look at it, the top looks like it's a separate piece, a crop top. The sides are cut out, um, which creates blocks of color. It looks like it's kind of a midi length, so it hits like right past her knees. I just think this looks really beautiful on her. It's kind of a more minimal gamine look. And so it gives a lot of room to play with some other features in the entire look. Like she has a heavier bracelet on, you can see that. She's doing a bolder, more like dark and rich lip color. But everything else is kept pretty minimal. And the dress itself is more yin leaning because it is fitted and it really follows her curves. And um, there's a high neckline as well, which is very flattering for her. I mean, I love this look, I would wear this. Yeah, it's it's so beautiful and I think really sexy actually. So way to go, yeah, woo woo. And again, her hair is pretty wild, pretty tousled and fluffy. It's still shorter, um, which is a good thing for Gamines. Uh, but she has a nice angularity, like face framing and the, the edges are a little bit kind of like spiky. I can't think of, can't think of the word. <laughs> But spiky is what comes to mind. I love this look for her. I think that she looks really stunning. Okay, this look. <laughs> what do we think of this third look? I personally love it. I might be biased when I make these videos because I do look for outfits that I think look really good. My personal style choices are gonna start coming out, I think, when I'm picking these photos. But this is a look that I think is stunning. And I think it's perfect for Gamine as well. And here's why. You have a lot of color blocking and texture blocking. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if I just made that up. Like I feel like it's not something I just made up and that it exists already, but um, texture blocking. So her shirt is Yang. This is a Yang shirt for sure. It's very unconstructed, which is kind of like soft Yang. It has, you know, it's like a menswear tailored shirt. It fits her body really well, I would say. She has it kind of blousing out of her shirt and everything, but it hits at her shoulders really beautifully. It fits at her wrists really well, as, and it kind of almost makes her look smaller. And so I think that this really accentuates how small she is, actually, her smallness in her bones. You can kind of see her collarbone area. You can see how delicate she looks in this kind of a top. Um, and so by bringing in some different textural elements with that, I think there's a lot of softer textures mixed in with this. And those are like more yin textures. So these sort of like 
fringe elements that's in her skirt, which is a pretty fitted skirt. I'm sure if she turned toward us, you would be able to see her curves in it. She's kind of, her body is tilted to the side here. It's almost a striped, a texture stripe. So instead of like color blocks, you have like a change in texture going down in her skirt. And so even though it is technically a monochrome outfit, you've got a yang block on top and a yin block on bottom. And I think that that is very flattering for her. It's cropped in the length so you can see her ankles which creates a color block. And then you have her shoes. The shoes are bomb for this look. It's that punch in the face of color. It's a very flattering color for her skin tone in my opinion. And there's a textural element, I think kind of like a velvetiness to the shoes, but the strappiness, the rounded details in the shoes create more color blocks, create that small feeling. So the shoes I think are pretty yin, but there's like a weight to the shoes as well, which gives it kind of a yang thing going on, you know? I love her jacket. Her jacket is beautiful. It might be a jacket, it might be a scarf, either way. I love the color that it provides, and again, it's not a super loud orange, like it's not a bright neon orange, it is actually, it feels kind of muted, and I think that her skin tone is kind of muted and soft, and so it helps to have an orange like that. But yeah, I love the cute small pattern on it, I love the ways that the lines are broken with that. I think they're, she's playing a lot with a high-low situation, so like a high waist with a longer coat kind of a thing. So I just think that looks really beautiful. And then her bag is beige, and so it's not gonna distract from the pops of color. Like I think the bag really goes with the dress or the skirt top combo and is a on the lighter side, a light neutral. But the bag is also structured. I think it's a yang bag with a yin size. So there's like a heavy structure, heavier textures to the bag with the leather and the metal details, but the actual shape of the bag is very small, very petite. Anyway, so I just think that this look is really harmonious for her and it's tied together with her hair being pulled back, um, really showing her face, especially since her body isn't really showcased in this look, I think that her face showing with her hair pulled back is a really sophisticated and elegant way to tie everything together. She has a very natural makeup look going on. You just, you're drawn to her eyes, her skin. She just looks radiant in this look. And the boldness really does come from the accessories and the shoes. And I just love that. I think this is a really dynamic and interesting look. Okay, let's talk about this outfit. This one caught my eye primarily because of the belt and also because of the way she's like smiling. <laughs> I just think she looks so youthful here and so glowy, and I love that. You can really clearly see the extremes in each of these pieces. So let's break down the top. You've got the neckline, which is extremely deepened because she's left this open and tied it in the middle. That's a great way to elongate this section and you need an extreme elongation. If you have like a mid midway elongation then that's going to look dis disharmonious with the rest of your frame this top it's the texture of it is sheer and weightless and that's yin but the feeling of the top is actually kind of oversized and big um which is yang like the sleeves they're very long they're not cropped the cuffs and the collar feel very large on her she has a piece that is very form-fitting, but you can look at the material, and I think that the material is pretty thick. And that's sheer too? I didn't look closely at this. Oh, her dress, the bottom, it's sheer. You can see her underwear. I think I'm finding a theme. I need more sheer pieces in my life, guys. I just, I think that looks so cool. So that creates a level of color block in that regard. It doesn't go exactly to her skin, but it is not, like you can see her belly button. You can see, oh my God, how did I not notice that? That's so subtle, but so cool. I love that. Okay, um, anyway, but the texture of it, you can feel, you can see that it's kind of woven in a thicker material. And so in that you have the form fittedness that's yin and then the structure that's yang. 
And then you have the bits of animation that you need in a gamine look. So the belt, I guess you could say that's a belt. It feels it feels reminiscent of like a um, wrestler's weight class champion, ah, like belt. Anyway, I've been watching a lot of MMA because my husband is really into that right now and it's like, it's brutal to watch some of it. But that's why my brain was in, immediately like, you look like you just won your wrestling match for your weight class girl, like, way to go. <laughs> Oh my god. So yeah, the animation comes from her <laughs> comes from her belt or like that hemline of her skirt and then also from her bag because that's another color block element. I wish I could see her shoes. Man, I bet her shoes are so cool and I'm sure that they add to this look. Makeup, natural, glowing, youthful. Love that. And then her hair is pulled back, but she still has bangs. It's still a little bit tousled, and I just think that that's a really good look for her. What do you think? Do you like this one for her? I don't know. All right, so this is my next look that I'm going to pull up, and it's the last one. This is the fifth outfit. And this is really what has made me consider that she might be soft gamine. Do you see? I feel like a look like this is very soft gamine to me. Like this is almost textbook soft gamine. We've got a high neckline created by buttoning this top all the way up. We have a bit of weight in the texture of the shirt. I feel like the cuffs add some weight. The um, pattern is large, so there's some yang there. But I feel like it's very fitted to her body. It's not an oversized top. Um, and her necklace has like a big chunky piece in the middle. Um, chunky jewelry apparently is really great for gamines. I agree. I love a good pair of chunky earrings. Um, personally, um, I only have like maybe two pairs, but earrings are one of my favorite ways to add some animation to my looks personally and um, a little bit of dimension and shine as well. So just keeping that in mind, I think that maybe this look would be improved actually by her wearing some bigger earrings or something a little bit more um, interesting around her face. You have this floral illustration pattern that certainly leans yin. The coloring of it all is, I feel like, very soft, very gentle. There's not a lot of harsh lines, but there's a lot of roundedness to it, and so I feel like that also leans more yin. And that just looks really harmonious and beautiful on her. The skirt, and it's mini skirt. It cinches at her waist and indicates a level of curviness in her body and in her bone structure. And so I think that that accentuates the yin in her frame. And then the skirt obviously is short, but it has that yang texture. It feels like it's kind of a thicker, leathery kind of a skirt. And it's also a solid color. And so that's a color block, which makes that really harmonious. It looks like she has tights on underneath, um, creating another color block. So this is a very soft gamine outfit, if you ask me. Her makeup, again, is really simple, really natural. I emphasizing makeup. And if you're curious as to um, how to do your makeup more gamine-like, I have actually a video that is about the ultimate gamine makeup because I tried a ton of different looks from gamines throughout the decades. And so if you're curious about some more makeup ideas, you can definitely check that out. I'll leave that linked for you. You know where to find it. Her hair, I think it's like a side bun, which is a really cool, unique kind of a look. I love that her hair just does what it does. I'm really inspired by that. I'm still in a space where I'm like, I want my hair to do what I want it to do and not what it wants it to do. Like, And so it's often just pulled back. But I just love that her hair does what it wants. I think she looks really beautiful. She looks really happy in this picture. Um, she's glowing. That's everything, my friends. That's all I have for you today. For me, personally, like in doing this, I'm realizing a few different things about myself that I kind of want to share with you guys in a different video. But there's some things that I realized about my body recently that I'm like a little bit, I'm a little bit shook by. And that's because I've been trying on a few different silhouettes and um, noticing something. <laughs> wow, that sounds really cryptic and weird. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I want to share it with you in a different video. So just keep your eyes out for that. Subscribe if you don't want to miss whatever I am talking about right now. Um, I'm still compiling my thoughts. That's all that I have for you today, as you know. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, thanks for hanging out with me and hearing my thoughts on life and on fashion. I love you guys. I think you're wonderful. I deeply cherish you and the time that you spend with me um, every single week. If you want to see me throughout the week, of course, you can follow me on Instagram at Authentic Franny. And I'm curious about Twitter. I kind of want to get into that, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm definitely into Pinterest though, so you can follow me over there as well for more style and fashion information, as well as home and food and my stationery products. I love you guys. I appreciate your support. I'm done talking to you now though, because um, I honor you and your time and me and my time. So <laughs> bye. I'll see you in the next one.